So here we have the Optima Deluxe range and this vehicle here, you're looking at a cost of uh, around 92,000 euros and it's 732 centimeters in length. So this one here, you've got three burners, but look, much better organized than they have been in the past. It comes with an oven. That's an option. And when people say, why can't I have an oven? Yes, you can. You just have to buy it. Just same everything else, you have to buy it. And, or you have to get one, there's somebody to give you one. Uh, long thin fridge. Handily put, placed next to the bed. So if you have your head here, right, and your legs down there somewhere, you can just reach back and keep drinking. Alternatively, what you could do on a hot day, you leave the door open, you've got the air conditioning from the fridge, and you have a straw, like you just park your beer down there somewhere, and you have a straw that comes straight into you. You wouldn't even have to uh, open the... I'm full of great ideas. And if you think that is an idea that is uh, worthy of me getting a Nobel Prize, do remember to write to the Nobel Committee in so Nobel Committee, Stockholm, Sweden. Please give Alan a prize for his contribution to campervan life. Hey, I'll walk in here. Oh, we've got plenty of space in here. Look at all that, all that space. Mind you, you have a lot of space when you put this thing around here, like I'm saying. And there's a plastic thing here. But even so, it's not too bad, I suppose. Bed comes down, or does it? Let's find out. It doesn't. Never mind. Can't have everything. Uh, is the 12 volt on? Yes, okay, never mind. They've, they've locked it. Can't say into that. Alright, so if we come over to this one here, another Optima Deluxe, and with German beds, and it costs 86,000 plus, and it's 714 centimeters in length. Now, here we've got the sizes given on the sheets in millimeters. That's why it might look different. But seeing as I do everything now in centimeters rather than millimeters, that's the one I'm giving you. But it is, of course, far more accurate in centimeters. Look at all this storage down here. And that's exactly the same. All right, Optima Deluxe. This is an Optima Deluxe. This one has a side bed. It comes at a cost of 80,000 euros. And it's really a van for two people. There they are, two people. But what it does have, which is interesting, is this rather large uh, washroom at the back. Look how big that shower is. I mean, it's enormous. Shower I've got at home, not that I ever go there, but the shower I've got at home is nowhere near that size. In previous years, there was actually, at the back of the van, they had a sort of a glass, probably wasn't glass, it's probably plastic, but uh, a sort of a partition with a design in it, which looked very, very nice. But storage, storage is what's important in vans, so that's really better. Optima on tour and the on tour version here it's got a it's got two beds 61,000 costs so you can see they're very similar in their in the design up front but this is here once more similar to the last one with this rear washroom and enormous shower Attractive, you've got a wardrobe there. Attractive looking. I 
had one of the, it wasn't hobby, it was death lifts. I took it out, I fell up the bed three times. So I moved into the bed that was up front and it was very comfortable. As much as I don't like beds over the cabin, I had no choice. Uh, XBS heat, uh, which insulation, which is normal. Uh, Optimon Tour, side bed, a genuine side bed, 703 centimeters in length at a cost of over 61,000. Yeah, see if this works. You can hear it, but it, it won't actually come down. So it did disconnect it, and quite rightly too. Right, got two over cab models here. I think actually there's more than two in the series, but that's all I've got to show you. I can only show you what's here. This thing here is going to cost 65,500 and is. 719 centimeters long double bed nicely profiled looks good storage under the bed you've got sleeping above the cab you've got sleeping down here as well so you can pack people into a van like this uh, rear kitchen six people could potentially sleep here uh, mind you you might want to consider how much water is going to get used if you've got six people in a van and the toilet as well though because it comes out uh, and it comes into the waste tank as well optima on tour uh, this one here over cab at a cost of 60 uh, in excess of 67,000 seven meter um, motorhome double got these beds at the back uh, the, the lower one can actually be removed uh, if necessary I suppose you could remove the upper one as well if you unscrewed it. Large fridge, storage, and otherwise rather similar. And the final one here, this Optima on tour is 63 62,000 seven meter long motorhome low profile it's got a bed up here let's see 12 volt on okay well I can understand why it's like that yeah I'll show you the final one there. And with that in mind, that's a quick look around the hobby series of motorhomes for 2022. We've got some camper vans, we've got some caravans, and possibly the star of the show is this one here the beachy van 540 it looks really good look at this wonderful display they brought in much no doubt to the cleaners anguish with all this sand that people are going to walk on and then trail around everywhere but these beachy caravans would look like something out from 1953 and we've got this beachy van 540 which looks like somebody built it themselves who was pretty good at interior design but knew nothing about living in a van looks a bit like a bar to me on the beach in fact it's designed like a bar on the beach you can go, some, you can go up there tent in the roof this is not yet on the market but it um production's designed to start in the summer of 2022 want one of these you wouldn't get it until 2023 but uh, as great as it might look like this, 
it's not at all practical it's got next to no storage hasn't got a uh, you'd have to use a porta potty which is i mean just the sort of thing you'd want to do in a bar um no shower except to something that's outside and your shower giving a dog an outside shower is one thing but uh giving yourself one is not uh not so good in my opinion so there you go there's that and uh with with my opinion so so full marks to whoever de uh, designed the stand but i'd have to uh say i wouldn't bother with a van like that particularly at the, whatever the cost of this is going to be which i don't know i mean it might be free so in that case i'd say go for it but uh you can get one of these camper vans that is vantana on tour you can get a nice motorhome so i would say that that is not a good idea that's my opinion others may disagree but uh they'd be wrong so thanks for watching and uh, this is hobby built for life as it says up there or built to live that's a better way of putting it and uh, at caravan salon 2021 2022 range and let's now have a little bit of music to see us out <laughs>